the San Francisco Shock just lost to both the Florida Mayhem and Trick Room. Trick Room, a team who exceeded their original expectations in the qualifiers when they placed second, have now beaten the runner-ups of last year. Yes, the Shock didn't make it to NA due to visa issues, and they were playing at 5 a.m. on 180 ping, but the Shock were still the worst team in their matches, and honestly, the worst of the entire day. They started the day with the match versus Florida, and started off with a bang. Proper on Bastion on Nepal Village in a Ram May rush composition. He made Bastion look broken, and Bro probably did more work right there than all the Bastions did in Season 5 combined. They handled Florida's playoff as comp pretty easily with well executed point control and cooldown rotations. Then came Nepal's Shrine, and Shock opted for the ever anticipated Junbin Wrecking Ball with Sombra Tracer and Ana Zen, although the double flex did not last long because someone decided to just own them and force them onto Lucio Kiri. Shock's ball comp struggled to get in on the attack, but performed well when Shock had the point until overtime when He Sang was scouted out by Chorong while he was staging for EMP, which ruined all of Shock's momentum and let Chorong beat the EMP. MP when it did come through, ultimately costing them the round. On Sanctum, someone showed his flexibility on Sigma and demolished the shock on both Ball and Winston comms. Florida played it really well, with their Kiri and Tracer goon squatting on the flank and supplying pressure on the backline. King's Row was a Winston mirror and it was a decently close 3-1 win for Shock. Someone was playing extremely aggressively, but Shock were able to adapt their playstyle by moving proper over to the Sojourn and win the resource trade when someone went on a deep dive. I will say, I was a bit disappointed with RuPaul on the Kiriko. I thought some of his Suzu's were a bit late and some of his ults were poorly utilized, but I'm sure as they play together more, it'll shake out nicely. Then, disaster. Max came in to play Winston on Esperanza for reasons that only Jesus himself could know, and Junbin would not be seen for the rest of the day. It's not like Max played the worst Winston I've ever seen or anything, but compared to what someone or even Junbin was doing earlier in the series, it was just not nearly enough. Florida's lead just continued to grow and grow as the map went on, and Shock weren't even fighting back. It was not pretty. But it's fine, right? Scrimbucks say that Florida was a very good team anyway, and the circumstances were bad for shock so surely they don't lose to a contenders team right guys surely not map one antarctic peninsula shocks ram rush versus trick rooms ryan rush featuring bastion trick room used the bastion to grab some early point control but it just didn't really matter and shock kind of ran over them they used this method and they were able to win on some level but it was pretty much the same story throughout the other two rounds on map two trick room decided to move away from the rush style and selected hollywood to play some ball comps and surprisingly Max stayed in. Shock spent like 30 seconds in spawn deciding what to run or something, I, I don't know what was going on there, and then they came out on a somber Tracer Diva, and I, I guess it paid off, because Shock won the scrappy first fight, so it's whatever, but it's like, it just makes no sense. Trick Room were able to set up a nasty dive at the choke, and paced their fights very well to get three full fights on B before Shock were able to head on the C. Shock were pushing towards the end in overtime, and a long fight breaks out, so Infected is able to build up mines onto the point. And Shock C9. It was somewhat forced from the mind, but there were definitely multiple players that could have easily touched the payload and not died. I don't I don't know what they were doing. Then, on first, Trickman would roll over the Vermonter comp with Ball, force Shock over to D.Va, and then get stuck on B for a bit. However, unlike Trick Room, Shock's fights weren't really clean and they weren't paced too well. So not only did they not force a third fight, but they barely ended up getting one and a half with all the staggers that Trick Room were able to secure. Then we get to third, and the situation ends up arising where it's the last fight for Trick Room and they're still staring at four shock ultimates, so they swap over to the Rhine comp in a last ditch effort. The fight starts off promising, but then shock take out the back line and it looks doomed, except the shock did not learn from their mistake and actually C9 again, and this time they definitely were going to win the fight, so it's destruction. So after this catastrophic turn of events for the shock, we go to Esperanza, and here there would be no tragedies, just some good overwatch. Trick Room run it back on the ball comp while Shock returned to the Ramatra, but they would eventually swap over to the Diva, and the lead would bounce around back and forth between both teams constantly. Once Trick Room made it close to the checkpoint, Proper started quaking in his boots and he swaps over to the Tracer. From here on out, Shock fight back hard, they take the lead and the checkpoint with 2.30 remaining and honestly, I thought it was a wrap. But I was wrong. Hummy would find an absolutely fantastic EMP, Baitball was able to clear up Proper and Finn, and they continued to push on and take the lead with Mines. Now we are in overtime, and the Shock are fighting back to keep their chance to come out of groups alive. 
but Trick Room makes a crazy smart play to focus Vin Dam when he is very close to beat, but he doesn't quite have it. So Vin Dam is just spamming his Q button, so he immediately drops it, but Mayfall comes through with an Ajax of the year, responds with his own beat, and Trick Room can bowl over Shock, and it is over. Trick Room have taken down the most hyped up roster in all of the Overwatch League. Overall, say what you want about Shock's conditions, they got outworked by Florida and Trick Room. Trick Room's fight planning and setup was executed extremely well, and Shock did not match it. Your talent and player of the matches are someone for being a beast and a problem in the server, and Pummy for just setting up these fights exceptionally well. I want to know though, are you guys concerned for the Shock, or are you coping with the ping, visa issues, and the, oh, they weren't trying because it's pro-am stuff? Let me know down below, I'm curious.